GDPR four letters that strike fear into the hearts of businesses and bring mild satisfaction to anyone who's ever rage click, do not sell my data. But why should you care? Well, because it's basically the only thing stopping your personal information from being treated like a game of pass the parcel at a tech company Christmas party. Here's the deal. GDPR, or the General Data Protection Regulation, is the EU's way of saying, oi companies, stop hoarding people's data like a dragon sitting on a pile of email addresses and shopping habits. It gives you actual rights over your data, like the right to be forgotten, meaning you can tell a company to delete your information and they have to do it, unless they have a really good excuse. You can also demand to see what data they have on you, which means finding out just how many times ASOS has logged your inability to resist a 20% off sale. And if a company loses your data, they have to to tell you about it. No more, oh yeah, we had a little oopsie and your bank details may or may not be in the hands of some guy named Vlad. Now, they have to own up and let you know before your savings mysteriously disappear into a cryptocurrency scam. But what happens if a company doesn't comply? Fines, big ones, up to 4% of their annual global revenue, or 20 million euros, whichever is bigger. That's right, Facebook can't just pay off their GDPR sins with a loose change from under Mark Zuckerberg's sofa. Now, here's the real fun part. Some companies have taken creative approaches to compliance, like those endless cookie pop-ups that make you click through 47 different settings just to reject tracking. Oh, you don't want us to sell your data? Cool, just disable these 17 separate toggles hidden in the depths of a privacy policy. So, should you care about GDPR? Well, if you like having some control over your data, yes. If you enjoy companies treating your personal information like Pokemon cards, then by all means, carry on. More of this from the nerdiest people you know at craigandave.org.